Yeah, no, folks won't like this, but it depends on the person once again. Yeah. Um, we can't even begin to answer that until you put a person in front of us. We assess their current level of fitness, mm -hmm. what their pain mechanisms are, and what their goals are. But if we knew that, well, of course, we could come up with a very tightly prescribed uh, program. But generally speaking, mm -hmm. there are some generalizations here, Chris, that I, I, I think yeah. we could establish. Yeah, One is uh, walking. Mm -hmm. Do a corrected walking program. Now, it's not really in the gym, but they should be doing this two or three times a day because it's the only... Well, see, in the gym, you can take uh, all of the lifts, uh, you know, just take some, some staple ones like a, a power clean, a bench press, a squat. Those are all done with two feet on the floor. And, yep. and yet, when I measure a lot of strong men and women, the first deficit that pops out in their back is the ability to stand on one leg while carrying load. Well, you can imagine a rugby player. They're mm -hmm. running down the field. They plant one leg, and they have to, they have to cut, change direction quickly. Yep. Well, if they plant the left leg and the, right, and, the, and the right foot is swinging through the air, changing direction. Do you see how the pelvis wants to drop on the right-hand side? So yeah. it's a lateral core strength mm. that, that allows them to be slow mm -hmm. and it allows them to hurt their back. Mm -hmm. So in that particular case, that all goes right back to walking. So you yeah. begin a walking program mm -hmm. and then it, it trans to build that in the gym now, start off with a, what's called a suitcase carry. Yeah. carrying load just in one hand, not a farmer's walk, a right. suitcase carry. Yeah. Uh, then they can carry that weight at the chin, and then you've seen on the DVDs doing a bottoms-up kettlebell carry and whatnot, which really is a very nice progression for that type of a program. Yeah. So for that kind of person, that, that's a very wise exercise progression. Mm -hmm. um, however, I, I think just about everyone should do what we call the big three exercises yeah. Um, for, for, for their core. Uh, not only does it help them to be injury resilient, it helps them to perform better too. It makes them stronger and faster. Mm -hmm. And that is the, uh, the bird dog, the side bridge, and uh, whatever form of uh, th that modified curl up, which is not much curling up at all really. Sure. Um, or they can replace that with stir the pot or whatever. But those three exercises are the foundation. Yeah. And we have uh, entire uh, top flight sports clubs around the world who begin every training session with those exercises and, uh, and, and then go on to their uh, particular programs uh, from there on in. But it's all about stiffening the core and freeing the hips and shoulders. It